the city of the sun You could have stayed, it's only over when the day is done I never knew you was a runner, yeah And I mistook you for a son It don't matter what we think when it's all over Cause this is our last chance Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Oops. Happy. New. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> March 14, 2022. It is 2.19 a.m. All right, 1,729 subscribers, new subscribers, welcome. All right, I'm just showing you my estimates. Still stick around the 261 and 86 cents. All right, I bet you by the time, if by the time I finish record and uh, uh, it's like around 6 o'clock, which I doubt it. I'm not going to be finished recording by 6 o'clock. I'll finish before that. Maybe by the time um, when I'm editing it, I'll show you what I have at 6 a.m. of screenshot. All right, so the estimation stick around that number. It's not right. All right, and I've had a lot of other videos that went um, live. And look at this one that went yesterday, 495 subscribers. That's my typical views. All right, let's go to my content. I'm not going to stay too long. All right, this video, part two, the title of it is The Not-So-Racist Bunch, part two. They're still reviewing it. Nine people so far on YouTube have watched it to determine if it's suitable for advertiser. So they have not released it yet. Part one have already been made public. I was waiting for YouTube to review it so I could make it public. And I did say I was going to make it public on, uh, I think, yesterday Sunday morning if it was approved so as you can see here um, this is Monday they still haven't uh, um, released it to make it suitable for advertisers and the other one that I sort of uh, edit they still reviewing it nobody have watched it it says zero and this one it's uh, 
I did show the process of that. It's not eligible for monetization because of copyright. And I did show you in one of my videos. Could have been this video um, where it says uh, pure, uh, clean up, everybody clean up. All right. And I have a picture of William and uh, there's an emoji next to it where there's a foot in the mouth kind of thing. So I think it was in that video where I showed the process of this one when I was uploading it. And I did challenge for the copyright thing. So if they release it, you know, they allowed me to use the, the clip, then, um, you know, I'll show you it. But anyway, let's go on Twitter. Okay. I have a lot to share with you. And I'm way behind the stuff I didn't bookmark for today. This one is things that I bookmarked for yesterday, which I didn't record yet. And I'm recording now. All right. Let's see here. All right. So that's the Invictus thing. I'm not going to play it. Let me pause it. I'm not going to play it because I know they're going to, in terms of copyright and all of that, you could go on uh, Invictus uh, game to watch it. All right. And by now, I think the squad have talked about it. And I did stop by yesterday on Sussex Wide podcast to listen to some um, to the podcast, and I did comment um, and stuff like that. But uh, you could go on the Invictus to watch this. So the Sussex Squad podcast have reviewed that, have spoke about it. All right, Prince, have, and I think in one of my videos that I recorded yesterday, they spoke about it as well. Did I? Uh, let me check something so I make sure I don't record things twice. No, I think that's the only thing I have. I may have recorded it. I see the 13 here. I think I did record it. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I did record it. I recorded already. I wish time. Okay, so I... Okay, so I think I record what I'm recording right now. I record it. So I'm going to stop and then um, look for more tweet to share with you. So I did record it. A few moments later. All right, today is March 14, 2022. It is 2.32 a.m. I started recording earlier, but some of the tweets that I saw on the list that I was going to share with you are tweets that I already recorded, but I have not edited the video. So I went back to Twitter, grabbed some tweets to share with you. So there they are. Okay, new tweets. This is on the list as well, but uh, not yet. I won't share it yet. All right, so this is me responding to a tweet where I say, I hate to say this, the woman is right. The only difference is heavy married for love. I've said this before. Once the pap, paparazzi that is, knew Harry and Megan were dating, Harry quickly married her because Harry didn't want Megan to know how the British, British media operates. Lady in the video is right. Windsors are evil and backstabbers. They bring worse out of people. All right, so I'm going to review this uh, video, but let's go to the original tweet. I'm not sure if it's a thread, is it? No, it's not a thread. All right, this is where the tweet originated. Okay, there are good reasons Harry previous girlfriends didn't marry him. It is not just the spotlight, but the dysfunction Windsor family. Marrying a Windsor isn't for faint-hearted. And I've said this, the thing that they put uh, Megan through, it's not, it doesn't look good for the rest of the kids. All right, that's growing up. I know you cannot judge uh, one person by uh, either their parents kind of ways or whatever, the rest of the family. But this thing with the Windsors, the repetition of things, look at from Princess Diana and all of that. So a lot of women, especially to marry with the guys, will not want to marry them, even if they offer them a ring or something like that. You will have to be very crazy to marry into that family after knowing what's going on. But then again, there are women who, you know, who knows? There's always somebody for someone to be with. So we shall see. But uh, it's it doesn't it doesn't look good for the rest of the kids that haven't even showed their own personality yet. All right. So she put this here. Yasmin Abbey Brown tried to tell us before the royal wedding. She really tried to tell us. All right. So it's two minutes and thirty one seconds. I will be stopping in between. Okay. I've shown you on one of my videos what happened 
even though I did stop in between, they put a copyright claim and then they blocked the video. All right, so I showed you when, when I started recording. And I, I, Let me move it back. I mean, you wrote a piece yesterday. I mean, talk about killing the mood. This is like, we're all doomed. This marriage is never going to last. You just it's a complete fight, fiasco. don't you? you just, I, 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 I didn't I, 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 And this alone, and this alone, she was right. You just pick fight. And then one of the uh, Megan's uh, negative uh, uh, who spew hate on national television was him. And then she's right. She's right, right from the beginning. You just pick fights or something like that, she said. All right, let's start all over. I mean, you wrote a piece yesterday. I mean, talk about killing the mood. This is like, we're all doomed. This marriage is never going to last. It's a complete fight, yes. don't you? you, you just, I, just, I, 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 didn't I, did, I started you by saying, it started by saying, I wish them all the joy, didn't yeah. I? But then I he did. went on to say, and yeah, she's clarifying herself. I did say she wished her all the joy, wish them all the joy. Then it's I said, get work. away, Megan, don't do it. You right. said this is not a dreamy fairy tale. It's Most not. crowns are made of thorns as well as diamonds. Wow. She cannot Good possibly idea. understand what she's getting into. The Windsors are a cold and dysfunctional Whoa. family. She's spot on, knowing what we know now after Ma Megan married into the family. She's right. She is absolutely right. And Harry knew it too. And the minute the paparazzi knew they were dating, he quickly put the ring on the naive Megan who did not know about the UK paparazzi and the family as well. Okay? And the family as well. I fear I do believe that. <laughs> right? I do believe that. I do believe that. I mean, look at the examples. Not just Diana, but even going back to Princess Margaret. Mm. I remember Princess Margaret when she had to sign her love away. It mm. was a rainy day. I remember it very well. Wow. And sign her love away. Wow. And then she's been miserable until her death. That, that's, that's something. And it's sickening. She never really recovered, did she? Because she couldn't marry anybody. That's divorce. true. She didn't. Yeah? But life has changed. The royals oh, have changed. I really think, especially if it seems she's not even going to carry on with her career. Princess Grace is not even to do necessarily with our royal family. Mm. It will be a nightmare. Because the official rules and regulations... I mean, even Kate. You know, I'm not mm. a royalist. Okay. She's part on. And the official rules. Guess what happened? As they go along, they keep on changing the rules on her. Knowing what we know now, she's absolutely right. She's spot on. Now she's going to talk about Kate. But I do sort of look at these, uh, at Kate. She had personality once. <laughs> they've, they've taken... She has personality once. It's true. Everything she's saying, it's spot on. It's true. But the thing with uh, Kate, though, she bent before she even started uh, getting to the royal. All right? Even before she married the royal, she bent. She once. They've, they've taken it away somewhere. What do you want to do? I think Diana had it, and that's why Diana was so unwelcome. For me, it's the issue is I remember all the words Diana said about what her life was like, even when she was a bulimic. In a very different climate. No, no, no. I don't. <laughs> of all people, this is a different climate. And then he added, the one who said it's a different climate, he added to Megan's pain every single day until one of his co-workers put him in his place and thank god for that my goodness don't think so the royal family the queen the duke of edinburgh even fergie whatever you think of her right not fergie i well why didn't that marriage last they're clearly very fond of each other william and harry are hmm. very different to the old I'm style sure they rules. Are. And luckily, they wear their hearts on a sleeve. They're going, they're going they talk the very firm. publicly they're about their emotions. The and I, like I think he's found a very good bride here, and I think your cynicism should be condemned to the dustbin well, of old that. world history. And I'm telling you, I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. Yeah. The obviously. Wow, she's like, I hope I'm wrong, but I'm. She's sticking to her gun, and she's right. And then, of all people, of all people. It's, she's talking to the person who added to Megan's pain, to make who could have ruined the marriage, who could have ruined the marriage. But let's listen. I'm moving it back slightly. It's true. And I'm telling you, I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. They obviously love each other, and, and that's what matters. I think yeah, at the end of the day, as long as they're in love, um, let's all get behind it. Let's support it. I agree. And I'm um, looking forward to next May. Get away, Megan. <laughs>
Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I, I went. And emotional, actually. I went to Kensington Palace as a Republican three times. Why? When Diana died, because I thought she was such an extraordinary woman. Yeah. She was, yeah. And I hated what happened to her. Hmm. She spied on. I mean, you she spied on. She spied on. Okay, I think he would have. Okay, where was my comment again? Okay, my comment. Oh, I retweeted out. And this is why I said, I hate to say this, the woman is right. The only difference is Harry married for love. I've said this before. Once the pop knew Harry and Meghan were dating, Harry quickly married her because Harry didn't want Meghan to know how the British media operates. Lady and the video is right. Windsors are evil backstabbers. They bring worse out of people. Yep, she's spot on. Let me read some of the comments in there. Okay, I think he would need to propose to them. He didn't treat them like that was a possibility. And for people who don't uh, who don't like the spotlight, they seem to still be suing his name to get it. But I see your point. Okay, so she's referring, she's responding to that, to this. Okay, marrying the Windsor isn't for the fainted heart. All right, you all right. Uh, Heavy has never proposed to any woman. Okay, so there's more in there. So small little conversation within a conversation. Okay, you are right. Harry has never proposed to any woman he dated, not even Chelsea. Uh, Wally, on the other hand, proposed, sorry, begged uh, to Isabella Cathorpe a few times and was totally bestowed by her, but she was not a taker. Every time she said no because she had a whole man better. Okay, so I'm assuming this person is either with uh how do you call this with william okay i wasn't following them so i'm not gonna um comment too much on this okay i saw this earlier and was like which of them had the option to decline in the first place and just scroll it scrolling by all right you're not wrong there all right let's go back come on so i just went in this little conversation so i'm out to the, to the main tweet Okay, we can see Kensington Karen dissemble right before our eyes. She is virtually skin and bone and without Photoshop look haggard and unwell. If not for Princess Meghan being raised by a black mother, she may not even be alive today. Thank God for Queen Doria. Yep. Okay, moreover, I don't see any of those girlfriends with the same ambition and drive to match Prince Harry like Meghan does. Either will have married him or their parents, especially the father, will have forced the issue for their out selfish reason regarding connection and sources. Okay, they, I guess she's talking about uh, Harry's exes. Okay, that's why I believe Megan when she said she didn't know the world well. I believe so too. I believe so too. I don't think she knew them well. Look at me. I knew the royals exist. Occasionally, what is it? I watched William's wedding. Okay, I didn't go too deep like I'm doing every day. Okay, so I truly believe Megan did not know it. And this is why Harry married her the minute the paparazzi uh, knew that they were dating. So Harry did not want to give Megan a heads up. I truly believe that. And then this is why I, in some shape or form, uh, to the things that Megan went, I believe Harry feel very, very sincerely bad about it and for getting her into that. Okay, this is why he's really, uh, you know, fighting for that security and all of that. Okay, if she did, she will never have married him. She had her life and freedom. That's true. Okay, there's more in here. This is a nice of the conversation. Oh, okay, let's see here. Is that a hater who's responding? Okay, let's see here. Four, four, it's not real for the majority. Okay, it started here. It started here. Okay. Six, five, one, two, three, four, and continues here. Okay. I believe Megan on that as well. As an American woman, if you were to ask 80% of American born and raised here, major majority of them, 70 to 75%, will tell you they know England still have a queen and the people give her millions and still pay for everything she wants they bow down to her too okay we tell our little girl that one day she will grow up and find her prince charming but the average american means a good honest man has an education and a good stable paying job or he's an entrepreneur well we don't tell them to go find a person that is heir to the throne of royal 
okay, two of two. They may have seen the latest headline in the grocery aisle or on ET, but following the royals, learning anything about them in school, no. That's me. She's right. She's spot on. Our prince is the it guy. The doctor or nurse, mechanic, co-worker, actor, professional, sportsman, people that live in our world. Okay? Let's see for four. It's not real for the majority of us in the sense that we actually believe that we can, want to, or might marry a person that consider royal. It's mind blown. It's mind blowing to imagine someone living like this, willing, royal uh, people. Diana made a lot of us take a look. We love her. All right, so she continued here. Uh, the next time we look at the royal closer was when it was announced Harry was marrying a biracial American. We have been watching and very disturbed by the way she was treated. I know we never had a clue about them until now. Yep, she is part on. This is what I was saying. I knew. The royal exists. I knew they exist. I watched Kate and William's wedding. I never thought second of it. Okay. Then I move on with my life. Then when Harry and Meghan married. Okay. I knew Meghan exists. I knew Harry exists. I watched the wedding. Their wedding. And I move on. Because Meghan is black, biracial. Occasionally, I took a pic to see. Oh, let me see what the headline. And it is to that wondering let me see what's going on. i told you guys i'm almost in everything i watch everything but i don't focus too deeply on one single thing until now where i make videos every day about the the sussexes but you know i watch um what is it some football news some this and that but i don't go too deep in all of them even politics i don't go too deep on them but i know a little bit of it but with the royals it's the same thing when megan marry harry occasionally i pick in let me see what's going on what this headline is all about but every time I look it's negative 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 and i started questioning myself and i said wait a second wait a second this woman been living a drama free kind of life she's been doing her thing why that few seconds she's over there i'm hearing all this negative it's to that questioning myself and i find out this freaking thing is toxic it's toxic okay and this is what everybody's talking about what she says here on her little response of a thread is right all right royals and races uh now there's evidence okay so this is her last thing here. Megan's is several. Okay, Megan's is several things, but the main reason is racism, and she's American. Uh -huh. They did all of this and lied. Yet it's so obvious to people with common sense. It just makes Diana's words about her mistreatment from them look even more credible. British royal family has plenty of secret shit, dirty. All right, N look at where uh, after the Oprah interview, where Megan said they will lie to protect the others, but they will not come out to tell the truth about her and Harry. All right? Not only was I not being protected, but that they were willing to lie to protect other members of the family, but they weren't willing to tell the truth to protect me and my husband. So we, we've seen she's, that person is right. All right. Yet, but it will not have gotten to this extent. Harry was not ready to marry any of them and they knew it. Okay. She's responding to the original tweet that, uh, with Harry's ex-girlfriend. All right. Um, yeah, but it would not have gotten to this extent. Harry was not ready to marry any of them and they knew it. They are nothing like Megan. I, I think he was searching. Okay. Especially after, uh, William's marriage. I think he was searching. As you can see, since he was young, he's doing a lot of initiative. Uh, what is it? Invictus, Center Bali. So he knew, okay? He knew these people, the people he was uh, marrying into, were not into all of that. All right? This is what I'm saying where I don't think I will be able to marry him myself. Not that I have a chance anyway. Because I'm not into charity all the time. I'm not into that. So, but Harry and Meghan are. Oh, they probably live with when they're eating breakfast, eating dinner, eating lunch, all of that. They have a discussion about, oh, what's our next project? This kind of thing. I'm not about all of that. Okay. So they are. Oh, he was looking for the right person. And as soon as he find it and he, 
that's why he uh, he stick with it. When he saw that they knew the paparazzi, he quickly put the ring. All right, let me read some few more and go to the next tweet. Okay, yeah, but it would not have been gotten to this extent. Harry was not ready to marry any of them, and they knew it. They are nothing like Megan. That's true too. Okay, good job, Harry. Marry a strong, intelligent woman who will have. Uh, who would have all the remaining Windsors for breakfast. She outclassed them, but them and the shade with all their wealth and pomposity. That's why they were confident they would break the marriage and Harry could return alone. Yep, but Harry uh, like, nope, I got a goal. I'm not going to let that go. They forgot Meghan was self-sufficient from an early age. She is nobody's fool. Anyone that can navigate Hollywood and survive unscattered is savvy that is true because when you look at a lot of actors even though they made it they do all sort of things there's something that fame get into people's mind and i, I could okay i'm never in that level okay i'm never getting in that level of celebrity but i had a small taste of it why and I, you guys went along with it i've shared that with you when i started doing this channel focusing on the Sussexes, when the channel started to grow, when it reached 200 from that early stage of my channel, YouTube was giving me problem. Each time I reached 200, something happened where they remove it. They remove the numbers. Okay. That was my early thinking about YouTube. Okay. So when I see that 200, for me, that 200 was like a million, million subscribers. When I reached that 200 and then all of a sudden, I don't know, something went in me I could not describe. Then I started saying, oh, I need, you know, doing the same things that I'm doing here, reading tweets or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to write what I'm saying and all of this and all of that. And then when I'm editing that video and I'm listening to myself and I was like, wait a second, wait, 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 wait a second. That's not me talking here. That's not me. And then I stop everything. I don't know if I delete that video, but I got rid of it, stop, and I then go behind the computer all day, just calm myself down. And then the following day, could have been the following day or the day after, and I start recording again. And I said, the same 200 people that I got, the same way I started that channel. That's the way I'm going to continue with that channel. Okay? I don't script anything, with the exception when I was... Uh, uh, my backup channel when I said I wanted to do research video and I think I only did one research video okay with the journalism and that was it and I never had time uh, to do more research and I haven't really focused on much of a topic uh, to really focus on because I'm every morning I record and uh, sometimes the record stays look at this morning I started recording something that I already record I had to say oh wait a second I recorded already so I went back to all right so there is something when people make it big, it's something in the brain. I don't know what it is. It tackle. That person is right. Okay. Anyone that can navigate Hollywood and survive unscathered is savvy, which is true. And I just give you a minuscule, not even one tenth, point zero 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 little percentage of my experience compared to other people who have made it uh, worldwide where people know them. It does something to the brain. Okay, and one example, for instance, uh, the guy who play, uh, I believe, uh, Spider-Man. I know they have many others, but the recent one, the one who's dating, I think, Tom Holland. Okay, and one of my videos, I explained to you guys where he had asked uh, Zendaya uh, for advice. How does he make, uh, she made it to Hollywood because Zendaya been with uh, Disney and all of that, like a child actor, and she stay level-headed. Okay. So he was probably getting to that sense with the fame, this kind of thing. So he asked for help the minute he probably saw it, it was going to get into his head. I didn't go too much into the detail because I didn't know too much, but I came across something like that where she, he was asking Zendaya for help and things like that. I think now they are dating. Okay. So all of this is true. Okay. Let me continue with some of this and then move on. Okay, they forgot me. Okay, I just read that. The question is, did Prince Harry propose to either of them, knowing Prince Harry a little better now that he has freedom to truly be himself? I am not certain he was interesting to marry either of them because of who their parents are, greed manipulation for themselves. Yeah, 
Harry always said he wanted people to see him as as Harry. Okay, maybe I don't know. I don't like to go back to his exes. Maybe he had a sense that I do not know, and I do not want to put a face to what I'm saying. This is just my humble opinion. Maybe he felt like they were treating him like a prince. Okay, for title and position or anything like that. Maybe. Okay. I do not know, but he always wanted people to treat him as heavy, an individual, separate from the institution. And I think the minute he uh, went on the date with Megan, he saw it. He saw it that maybe there was some discussion that was said and, uh, you know, that sort of break protocol, this kind of thing. And that probably put the, you know, the heart in his eye and said, oh my God. This is the way she's talking to me. Oh my God, I love, she's not seeing me as a person. I'm just saying, okay? I am just saying. Plus, some of the things they discussed that uh, uh, her charities that she's been doing, things that she's done. So she didn't have to make up stuff to for Harry to like her. So Harry saw it. And then afterward, I, oh my God, the first time I brought this issue, I went crazy with that. When Harry went back to his palace, when he's looking at the uh, IG post, things that Megan did and all of that. Okay, so Harry saw it from the get-go. My have I felt, and I apologize if anybody think I'm talking about whatever I said reflect to anybody that they assume. I do not know. I wasn't following Harry before, so I was just saying my opinion, okay? Uh, might have felt he needed permission. They act like the 10-year-old and waiting was the test for Kate. <laughs> I think some said they could stand the attack and scrutiny. But why put yourself in that position? That's the thing here. Megan was never about that. She's been living her, uh, I think I call her in one video, a valley girl. She lived in uh, California, free spirit, be able to do, uh, you know, with respect to others, as she please. And, uh, she wasn't about to take that and they almost break her you know from the your point of view okay i think some said they could have stand the attack and scrutiny but why go through that okay living with pain is not normal okay you're supposed to live a life of with no pain but so many people are envy they want things they do things because they want not because they need so therefore they live with uh, a lot of headache uh, where they have to uh, probably showing people that they have, okay, which is a lot of people, all right? I have this, I have that, when they can't even afford it. So in order for them to show people that they have, they work extra hard where they can't even focus on themselves, all right? I've, I've raised this before. Okay, question, okay, just how many of his previous girlfriend did he ask to marry him? Curious. Okay, none apparently, you know, if he had, the fell will publish a list. That's true. Okay, you have said uh, you have said so correctly. What a miserable bunch! They don't know their right from their left, but uh, they could make your life pure hell. Did Harry ask any of his previous girlfriend to marry him? Okay, hey, but he never proposed to them. It's not like he did, and they just decided no. Yeah, marrying into the Windsor family is no fairy tale. All uh, right, you got the right special and Megan case, and why Megan? They felt Megan was a threat. She's confident, intelligent, self-made woman who doesn't care about fitting into their snooty social circles and stuffy airs, and they knew they won't be able to control her. Yeah, what is it? There's a part where Princess Diana said something about um, about strong women. They see it as a threat. This kind of thing. It's it's right. And I'm here to do good. I'm not a dis I'm not a destructive person. Why do they see you as a threat? I think every strong woman in history has had to walk down a similar path and I think it's the strength that causes the confusion and the fear. Why is she strong? Where does she get it from? Where is she taking it? Where is she going to use it? Why do the public still support her? When I say public, you go going do an engagement and there's a great many people there. Okay, did he propose? They were never asked. Okay, so let's, oh my God. 30 minutes, 27 minutes on just the first tweet. All right, next tweet, majority of the rest of the tweet is going to focus on this, okay, about Jamaica. I, I think I'm going to read that article because a lot of the rest of the com um, tweet that I bookmark is focused on Jamaica. Okay, Jamaica makes additional moves toward a republic, New York Amsterdam news. 
Okay, let's read some of the comment. Let's see here. Let's go straight to this and then come back and I'll read the comment. I may not read all of it. Okay, but the link will be in the description. Uh oh. All right. Jamaica makes additional moves toward a republic by Bert Wilkin, February 17, 2022. Feb oh, that was last month. We're in March. Okay, with a mere six months left before Jamaica celebrates its 60th independence anniversary, there are even clearer signs than three months ago that authorities are moving to ditch the British monarchy and to convert the island into a republic. Governor General Sir Patrick Allen last week spoke about the recent creation of a legal and constitutional affair ministry and plans to overhaul and update local laws with a change of status that has gained new life ever since Barbados ditched Britain's Queen Elizabeth became a republic and appointed its own native head of state at the end of November as it was celebrating 55 years as an independent nation. Okay, the administration of Prime Minister Andrew Holness has already committed to joining region, regional neighbors Guyana, Trinidad, Dominica, and Barbados as republic, and so far, Holness has the support of the main opposition people's national party. Hmm. As I'm reading this, I'm thinking of Haiti. Haiti, my goodness. Okay, former Attorney General Marlene Malahu Forte will head the new ministry that the governor general says will preside over quote the process to shift jamaica's status as a constitutional monarchy and quote critics said the announcement was the clearest indication yet that upstart jamaica will make the switch this year okay opposition leader mark golden says his party support the transition to a republic but reminds islanders and government that jamaicans will most likely have to vote in a referendum to make the transition okay so jamaica needs to vote for that first to see if they want to ditch the monarchy okay so they're asking the people do you want the you know you don't want queen elizabeth to be your head of state and if that's so, then they, they'll, they'll do another, uh, I guess, uh, election. You know, people who's running for certain office, for president or whatever, for people to vote on that. So it makes sense. It makes sense. I could see that. Though all of the Jamaican wants that. And when you look at what's happening in England, they're shifting uh, Jamaican uh, who were, you know, in UK as a kid. So if you're part of the Commonwealth, why are they doing that? Okay, so this makes sense okay the mia matley government for example in barbados was able to use the other two-third parliamentary majority option and switch the country as the governing labor party had won all the seats in the 2018 general election and did so again mid last month okay so i see what she did here so i wasn't following all of this okay so this just explained how um uh what is it What's her name? Mia Matley did it because they had the majority. So she quickly did, did it because some of the people who were uh, in position had the same mentality. So she quickly used that opportunity to switch it. I see. It's almost like, for instance, let's say um, in the U.S., just an example. Let's say majority of the, okay, let's use something that happened um, recently, uh, a while back when President Obama first elected, okay? The House and the Senate was a uh, majority of uh, Democrats. So this is how President Obama was able to pass the uh, Affordable Care Act, ACA, what they call Obamacare. Okay? So he used that opportunity to give people um, health care. So it was afterward, the midterm election, where a lot of people didn't vote. So the House and the Senate majority sort of switched. Okay, so he didn't have control of that. So this is the same thing that happened in Barbados, where Matley's team had majority of the seats. So she quickly did that to turn Barbados into a republic. That's what I see here. Okay, quote, the referendum will have to follow the legislation being passed to Parliament, which is a process of at least six months. But look, Jamaica truly becoming independent is something that is significant and it is worth us investing in the referendum process. I think it is important that we do this when we have the momentum and can agree around the issue." End quote. Golden told the Observer newspaper. 
And the thing is, that gaffe, that nonsense Prince, uh, he, uh, not Prince, he, Prince William said when he went uh, to the Ukrainian um, charity place, all right, where he said, you know, about uh, Africa and Asia, this kind of thing. But when you look at other things that he said, okay, all they could do is give you a smile. I'm sorry we can only come and give words and comfort, but we're, we are thinking about you the whole time and we really care about what's going on. So Sometimes it does more than financial. Yeah. Well, if we can give you your smile here and there, that's important. So, you know. so if this is all they could do, what is the point of having his family as the head of state? Okay? I am not Jamaican, so I do not know how the uh, the queen, having the queen as head of state, affect Jamaica. All right, we already, I've already seen, based on what Prince William said, just giving a smile. But everybody, uh, Meghan and Harry critics, expect so much out of them. They want them to do so much for Ukraine, this and that. I've sh there's a lot of videos that's already live, made public. Okay, some of them are five minutes and this and that. All right, they want so much out of them. But for the people who are in the position, like the Queen, Charles, the William, they don't want them to do anything. They're treating them like babies. Everybody's supposed to feel sorry for them. This and that, poor queen, poor this, poor that. But Harry and Meghan, who's not in the position of authority, they expect them to do so much for everybody else. All right, let me continue with the article. Let's see how far it is, how much it is. Okay, I'm almost done. All right, Barbados globally televised transition ceremony attended by Britain Prince Charles and global pop star Rihanna, still nationalist pride in Jamaica, triggering vow from political parties and activist group that this year independence celebration will not occur without the island becoming a republic. Rihanna is a Barbadian native. Asked, a, um, asked recently about other members of the 15 nation group making the transition as well. New regional secretary general Carla Barnett said it is likely other will follow along. Okay, especially after the treatment of Megan. Okay, quote, the truth is that is something that countries themselves have to work through. We've never had uninformed process across the uh, Caricon region. We've had countries which have retained the British monarchy as the head of state and we've had countries that have had executive president and this has been standing for many, many years. Uh, anybody who watched uh, one of my videos where I have the UK flag, I think I call it the firm. I'm not 100% sure. I, I've said a lot of things about this. She noted that Barbados moved to Republican status because the country felt the time was right and that it was the right thing to do. Especially after we see how they treat people of color. The UK, they're still going at it. That's the worst thing of it all. You will think they will stop, acknowledge they're wrong, and then do some sort of apology or just stop in general. No. Okay, because they put in their head, they could do as they please. They keep at it. Quote, and so they proceed to do it. Um, I'm expecting that other countries in the region will consider and do what they feel is right within their own nation consideration. And quote, she said, successive government in Jamaica have tried to make the transition dating back to the Michael Manley administration, but the lack of opposition support had derailed his campaign in the 90s. Uh, Prime Minister uh, per, was it Percival Patterson. Uh, okay. I hope I pronounce his name right. Persico, uh, Percival Patterson had expressed determination to do so and miss out. Portia Simpson Miller, the lone female head of government, also failed to carry through with promises while she was in government during 50th anniversary, anniversary observances. All right, so other people have tried, but they failed. But now, with what happened to Megan, I think opened a lot of people's eyes. That's the thing here. Okay, I mean, it's one of those, if it wasn't broken, why break it? This kind of thing. But now, they didn't know. Okay, I cannot blame uh, those things that they were trying. But people with uh, position and power who saw what was happening, they saw it. They was like, we don't need it. But people who did not know was like, if, it were, if it's not broken, why break it? All right, but now we know.
So I could understand some of those people who were against it. Now that they know, especially the way they treat Megan. So now they could say, okay, this is how they're treating her. And then we never get this from them, this and that. They could only provide smile and that's help. So no, okay. I've had this question before when there's hurricane, when there's certain thing. How do the British royal family help? Do they bring supplies? Do they help? And stuff like that. Is it just the American who usually help in situation like this? Okay, now times change. I'm not saying uh, America have done that. I don't know, but I'm, I was just asking an honest question, which I didn't know the answer to. All right, this is the last paragraph of this, and then I'll go back to Twitter and read some of the comments. Quote, it's just amazing the potential that exists. 60 years of independence and the 60 years has generated much interest in our status as a nation, and those questions will be addressed shortly. I'm certain those who have ears to hear those vague terms will understand them until it is time to have that full and direct discourse which that process has started and quote Holness said as Barbados became a republic last year all right so the link of this article will be in the description let's go back to Twitter hey Jamaican is this your future king oh my god <laughs> Joanne is something this picture is a great metaphor because William's mediocrity uh, being propped up by everyone around him is going to be his legacy. Send the languages over for that Tortangi and deal done immediately. Uh, why British royal family create a slave trade company named using the acronym of race? African captives were branded with either DY or RACE race when they were taking standing for Duke of York or Royal African Company of England okay jamaica there's this here i'll bookmark it if i have time i'll come back to it okay but they welcome to visit of the new generation of slave masters hmm. uh, do they have a choice at this point serious question can the commonwealth nation decline a state visit that's interesting okay that is an excellent question i don't know if they can decline i remember when scotland didn't want them to go visit and they did anyway yeah during the i covered that part what she's talking about when they went to that was during covid the height of covid they were trying to keep people isolated they told them not to show up and they took the train and went anyway all right and i think uh, there was a picture taken where kids were standing um in line without the mask or anything they all over the kids face i'm referring to what sussex squad podcast is saying here after Prince William raised his comment and Archie's skin tone, he deserved to be locked up away from people with integrity. Well done, Jamaica. Well, so far, Jamaica's not out of it yet. They're talking about it. Okay, if those two steps off the plane says, what a, what a guan, I'm going to lose it. Okay, the only other world leader, high profiler, I love that coming from was Barack Obama. It was adorable. Hope Jamaica does it. After all the racist thing royal family have done and is doing, get is doing. That's why this is the thing I'm talking about. Okay, after all the racist thing royal family have done and is doing, get out Jamaica. Okay, I can wait for Jamaican to become a republic. Good. We need Jamaica to come through with this. Okay, go for it. Waste no time. Okay, supportive of republic, Jamaica, Jamaica. And the main thing that I was sort of afraid for Jamaica, if they do that. You could read this while I'm talking. I'm getting something. Else. Is that I thought the common being part of the Commonwealth, they help them, but instead, no. All right, they just go and get. All right, next tweet. Okay, I'm not gonna read the article, but this is other people who's talking about it. All right, this is Royal Souter. Quote: Globally televised transition ceremony stirred national pride in Jamaica triggering vow from political parties and activist group that this year independence celebration will not occur without the island becoming a republic end quote okay like i said i read that already i feel like this should have happened the moment the uk started deporting the windrush gen okay if that wasn't enough what is yeah this is the thing that i'm saying those kids who grew up in um and uh, in the uk they you know, they're going to deport them. If you're part of the Commonwealth, what's the point if they're doing that? If they're treating your citizen like this? That's the thing. Okay, the UK make it so hard to get out of these things. Okay, so we can count on the colonizer to repackage the subjugation as voluntary and a Trump offensive way. 
offensive when exactly all right so i mean i i don't know i read the article so they have to ask the people the jamaicans the citizen of jamaica do you want to get out if majority of them say yes then they do the next step all right because now before with their skin tone are treating horrible over there they probably won't even give them visa to come in when even when, while they're part of the commonwealth so i don't know how you travel over there if having a jamaican passport they treat you different even though you're part of the commonwealth i don't know I, because the only thing i could see is uh a puerto rico for instance who is part of the commonwealth they could vote they could come in back and forth however they want whenever they want but i don't know okay today i learned that race and dy duke of york was branded on slave by the royal family slave trade company inspiring the name <laughs> royal african company of england <laughs> wow race <laughs> a woman from the king charles ii said quote we hereby for us our heir and successor grant unto the same royal african company of england that it shall be made and may be lawful to set to sea such as many ships penises that uh, box as shall be to fitting oh my god my nose is stuff okay penises and box as shall be thought fitting for the buying selling bartering and exchanging of for or with gold silver uh negro slave good warrants and manufacturers the company was run by charles ii's brother the duke of york who became king james ii after charles death african captives were branded with either dy or race <laughs> Uh, when they were taking standing for Duke of York or Royal African Company of England. Wow. Uh, that's from that uh, article. I'm assuming that I book more. Okay. I'm Jamaican and RS got this information before me. Thank heaven for you. Okay. Kick them out, Jamaica. Uh, it's not just Barbados globally televised ceremony. The deportation of Jamaicans who helped build the UK is a big part of it. It's the disrespect, shame, and Jamaica pride. It's over. Long, long, long overdue. All right, let's go to the next tweet. And I think it reflects with that article as well. I'm just reading the... Okay, so I'm not going to read this uh, article. Will and Kate mission to hold on to Jamaica. All right, I'm not going to read that. Let's see here. Okay, it will fail. This failure is written in stars. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's V. There's this and the blendest people to hold on to the jewel of the Caribbean. <laughs> There's the rolling eye. Okay, they are going to board the Jamaican into submission. This is a joke, right? These two? Okay, if the firm wants to get rid of Jamaica, it is the fastest way to make the Jamaican run like hell. <laughs> they know what they do when it's, I think, those people, the politician who's in power, they knew. I've said this before okay i've said this before so these two have no choice but to go but to go i don't even think they really want to go but they're gonna have to go because the politician wants them and the goal of the politician is to break the commonwealth okay the firm does not want to get rid of none of the commonwealth as they collect uh money okay that's money uh that line their packets hence why are they trying to keep them uh 11 commonwealth countries has queen elizabeth ii had on the currency the firms collect more uh, more from them the thing is that i mean they're not gonna tell you their full uh, intention but politicians know how to play that game all right they are holding the royal family hostage right now with so many nonsense that they've done and they never correct themselves so they're holding these things uh, above their head if you don't do this then we won't have you as head of state this kind of thing so in order for them to remain in position they have to do what the politician tell them to do so the politician have special interests they want these things for themselves okay they have interests in those caribbean places like i said in that video the firm all right go watch that video i say something within that nature inside that video uh, i talk about many other things but there was one instant i brought this up this topic up okay i read that this trip is doomed before it starts how can you go to a country representing by black people and you have treated the only biracial member of your own family like crap? They had a media attack Megan and Archie racially to cover their corrupt asses. Exactly. Okay, be free Jamaica. Uh, UK deportation to Jamaica delay until after world visit. <laughs> okay, it, 
is it just me or are they starting to look like uh, in this picture are they starting to look alike in this picture probably some photoshop i don't know okay oh bless uh they are quivo's photo discount valdemar still had some hair <laughs> hair then oh my goodness wonder if he's taking his token black friend to show jamaica he's not a racist all right so let me move on there's more i have more tweet to share and i'm already 48 minutes okay there's this mm, it seems buckingham palace is quote worried and quote about their future in the caribbean jamaica will definitely be the next to drop the monarchy all right let's see this royal jubilee mission to hold on to jamaica william and kate visit is being seen as a chance to love bomb a country keen to join barbados and ditching the monarchy so that was march 13th yesterday okay quote there is no question that Jamaica has to become a republic, end quote, uh, said Andrew Holness. It's Prime Minister days after Barbados' historic move to, serve, uh, to sever ties with the monarchy and do just that. The Queen was said to feel, quote, sadness, end quote, at the departure in November of Barbados, the island knows as, quote, Little England, end quote, in a ceremony that was watched by a quote regretful and quote prince of wealth but all eyes now turn to the duke and duchess of cambridge visit to jamaica where the republican beacon burned bright on saturday william 39 and kate 40 embark on a caribbean charm offensive for the queen's platinum jubilee year that will also take them to belize and the bahamas a meeting with Holness 49 is on the card and other engagement includes, quote, celebrating Bob Marley, and quote, and seeing the Jamaica Defense Force in action. The success of their mission may determine whether or not they will reign as king and queen of Jamaica, which gained independence from Britain in 1962. The Republican movement in Jamaica is not new. At the start of the Queen Diamond Jubilee year in 2012, the Republican Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller gave her inaugural address with a promise and uh, patois to remove the monarch as head of state. Quote, I love the Queen. She is a beautiful lady, but I think time, time come. All right, let's see here. Professor Philip Murphy, a director of the Institute, of the Commonwealth Studies at the University of London said, quote, Jamaica is the one to watch. The political will is strong and the issue is reparation for colonialism and slavery adds more weight to the Republican cause, end quote. And then I hope uh, Jamaica opened their eyes. They opened their eyes. Don't let the country turn like the way, uh, you know, other third world countries run. Okay. In 2020, Jamaica's Governor General Sir Patrick Allen announced that he will stop wearing the royal insignia of the Order of St. Michael and St. George, which shows a white archangel with his foot on the neck of a Satan, depicting as a black man after its sparks controversy. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay, that's this. Yep. They always use black people as uh, um, the negative part. Okay, it de now I'm back into the comment. Okay, it definitely is time to drop the monarchy in Jamaica. LOL, there is no good reason for a British monarch to be head of state in a country that her ancestors had a, had as a colony in the year 2022. All right, after uh, handing out racist medals to the governor, General Jamaica should have dropped the queen like a hard bread. Racist William is the last person who should be going on a charm offense is an insult. Hmm. All right. The arrogance of, uh, okay, of uh, Arian Bobby and Prince Williams as a racist of the racist royal family going on a black people photo app tour of Jamaica. After all these people have done or uh, doing to black people and the royal family, Jamaica should Barbados them. Okay, white supremacists. There's this. Oh my goodness, I can't show this because YouTube will black it. Uh, Kate and William Ray, uh, reigning as king and queen in Jamaica. That's a laugh. That's a laughable and embarrassing. Kate and William doesn't have what it takes to stop the inevitable. A monarchy, especially British royal family in 2022, is way past its expiration date. Okay, I mean, they are really jizzing over the idea. What a shame. Okay, things we love to see. All right, I'm not going to show that video because it's a woman in underwear dancing. YouTube will... Uh, 
probably block the thing. All right, next tweet. Are they going to offer more than a smile and a wave? There's me respond. Care that consider help? Well, you know, it lives mobile without any financial incentive. You know how it works. Okay, I spelled that wrong, how it works. Well, Billy said that's about all they can do, smile and wave. Since Gangster Grand, Liz hoped not to separate from the, her billion until show is canceled. <laughs> the way they put it. And maybe not even then. Okay, I know how dumb was that. All he had to say was, quote, we support you and we'll do all we can to help, end quote. The man is clearly no diplomat. Yep, yep. He's like, because the thing is that when something is really part of them, true in their nature, things that talk in the, behind closed doors, but they never tell him to differentiate when you're in public and when you're out there, how to act. So this is some of the things that they talk about. You're just going to smile and shake hands, cut ribbons, and go back. So now he just let the cat out of the bag, which we already knew. We knew that. But him saying it just cemented, confirmed all of the things we've been speculating. All right. Here's a tweet. Okay, do they have anything else to offer? They could offer money. That's the thing here. With money, you'll be able to do what you need to do. Okay, maybe brownies. <laughs> Homemade brownies. Oh, my goodness my goodness these people are something next tweet there's that exciting news a couple of weeks ago people magazine got a new editor-in-chief liz Va vacchiano okay okay i'm pronouncing this one let's just say liz liz out okay uh, people magazine got a new editor-in-chief liz i can't pronounce the last name out went brit then wakeford who was very anti-Megan and and comes an uh, ac accomplished American boss lady, one of two. Okay, so that's parenting.com. All right. Oh, that's a thread. Let's read this. It's always bothered me that people, uh, American pub is, uh, I guess, publication is so firmly pro William, five to ten covers in a year. And anti-Megan Marco. Americans love Megan and Harry positive coverage of them sells so many more copies. He's hoping for a new era. Okay, literally every single time people has William or Kate on the cover, they had to print a second cover. <laughs> they switch out midweek because those two just don't move cells. So it's bizarre they keep putting them on. It was totally due to then Wickford and Simon Barrett, Brit editor. So maybe the reason they do that, maybe they pay them. There's like a, perhaps, a, I don't know, let's say like a kind of subscription kind of thing. I'm going to give you a certain amount of money to put uh, William and, you know, on the cover for such and such amount of time. So after they do it, they do their deal, they do it, and then they print another one. So they want to recover from that. That's what I think happened. Okay. Literally every single time people has William and Kate on the cover, they've had to print a second cover. They switch out midweek because those those two just don't move cells. So it's bizarre they keep putting them on. It was totally due to Dan Wakeford and Simon Perry, Brit editor. Um, maybe because he's a Brit. Yeah, I guess that's why he goes with what he knows. Newsweek, another uh, American publication, have wised up that Americans want positive coverage of Meghan and Harry. Not all Brits tabloid lies. Uh, hopefully, people can quit the Warren Duchess's angle and quit putting forward the boring racist Bill and Kathy. So true, I'm glad he's gone. Got sick of looking at Kathy Kate and Willie Neely while checking out groceries. <laughs> That's me. That's me because it's when I'm... I never buy it. It's just when I'm standing in line to play at the grocery store and I take a look. All right. And then I put it right back. I never buy it. Okay. I hope they will only, <clears throat> I hope they will now print more pro Harry and Megan stories. I even got a subscription and the mail for People's Royal Magazine trashed it. And the thing is that people are not asking just to just report the fact. Like, let's say uh, every now and then Harry and Megan have something coming out. Uh, the Invictus. Just talk about the Invictus. Look how great uh, Harry's 
uh, charity is doing, uh, his thing, Center Bali, and all of that. Nobody is saying to go out of your way to print positive things like the other brother. Okay, if Harry and Meghan are doing something, you want to talk about it and share it, just do that. Nobody's asking, you know, those crazy stories just to make people feel good like the other crazy one. Uh, there's me responding to her. The only place I look at their magazine, check out aisle at the grocery store. So true, the royal so-called special edition never went anywhere. Okay, now that Betty has proclaimed Camilla will be next queen, all the Queen Kate mags covers have stopped. There's the laugh. Uh, they work hard on the Queen Kate for so many years, bubbles were burst. <laughs> Out went a male Karen and a competent person. Only time will tell if this magazine is truly about change. Yep, I never assume anything. Yeah, I mean, I know I'm not going to buy either way. Next tweet. There's this. Dear Meghan Marco, the Duchess of Sussex, the universe correct or wrong, hang in there, my dear. That is true. Things always need to be leveled out. Things need to always be leveled out. Okay. Oh, is that a thread? Okay, a small thread. Let's read it. I'm already an hour now. Meghan Marco, the Duchess of Sussex, Giorgio Armani dress will go on display at the Fashion Museum Bath from 22 February. The black and white silk uh, Georgette dress has been selected as the museum dress of the year 2021. Okay, I covered this in one of my videos. Okay. Hand in hand, looking like a million bucks, in a moment of unmatched elegance, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, outshined the red carpet. All right, that's when they went to New York. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, engagement ring is the most go go in the UK, according to the research done by Creative Resource Design Bundles. Really interesting. All right, so that's the end of her threads. Here are some comments. Agree about Megan, but still waiting for the universe to work on correcting Trumps. <laughs> okay. Um, amen, amen. The universe always wins. That's right. That's the truth here. Yeah, I've been saying it. Okay. For those who are new, I have old videos where I said things need to be balanced out. I always put that scale of there's a, a um, like a circle thing on a seesaw. All right. When things is going in one direction too long, eventually the uh, the the ball will roll on the other direction. All right. As you try to pop up somebody to the highest as possible, eventually the other side is gonna go down. Things needs to be leveled out. Okay. Sage advice. Well said. All right. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the next one. Okay. They have to put this. I covered this so many times. Heavy have. Oh, there was a black face. I think I was looking for this picture at one point. Okay. There's the black face here. Okay. That's one of those parties that uh, William did and they blame Harry for it and all of that. Uh, so all of this, Harry, you know, that was wrong. People around him. Okay. People around him knew uh, what he was, put him up to it to, so they could trash him to pop up the other one. All right. I spoke about this already. And my, um, for me, I've already, I already forgive uh, Harry for that. Okay, Harry, always Megan Shield. I love this picture. Look at him. Huh. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see here. That's what love is all about. Okay, so that was that. Next tweet. And then I have one more and then I'll do a prayer. There's this. Seems Princess Megan really annoys some people. So I hope Princess Megan is having a good day. Unlike people annoy, she called Princess Megan. All right, well... For those who can't stomach princess, there's also other appropriate titles she holds like Baroness, Countess, Duchess, Mummy of Kids with Red Hair and <laughs> Mummy of Kids with Red Hair and the ever popular also provoking Mrs. to Prince Harry, HRH, the Duke of Sussex. All right, so she's saying all the titles Megan has. I get a kick out of the people who get spun up when an article mentioned Kate Middleton instead of calling her the Duchess of Cambridge. Maybe I'll start saying the Princess Megan, her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Sussex. Yeah, I know it's not technically correct, but I do care. Okay, annoy them some more. Don't forget to use her H or H. Use it every chance you get. <laughs> This is the people that's going on Twitter. They're acting like kids. Okay, I like Madame Duchess best. A prince 
princess title just means they have royal blood but not necessarily and any power duke and duchess are better title that's why the queen gives those there's a laugh yep woke men and women they hate educated beautiful black women it was supposed to be like that from egyptian time the moors carry european and taught them educated them and look uh, look what they have done stole their culture gold riches and their knowledge that is true i spoke about this before um in one of my videos let's go to the next tweet even how to bathe all of that they told them this is my last tweet okay the british media is trash they've disparaged harry and megan for almost six years this unprovoked virtual needs to stop the good people in britain needs to stand up and say enough is megan marco not a human being doesn't she deserve peace and happiness all right i just read uh in the mirror tom is speaking his truth as he launches youtube uh, channel sick man and sixes i i mean just i'm not gonna tell people what to do all right good uh, maybe he'll tell us who's paying him they're probably um, pushing him to do this thing you know to create distraction okay good uh, maybe he'll tell us who's paying him okay it's the it's the design they want her gone and i think there was one tweet i respond and i said something like let's see is you if youtube is gonna stick by its uh, uh like it's whatever regulation the laws that they have because they're putting my channel through a lot okay they're putting my channel through a lot okay good uh, i read that it's the design they want her gone and they won't stop until the people of britain make them they are malevolent mob Okay, I have thought the same over the years. Camilla Britton and the Telegraph, Harry and Meghan have accomplished nothing. I can't wait for her to fall flat on her face. Okay, no way. When did she? Uh, when did she this? Okay, when did she do this? Uh, the more I hear, the more I despise her. Uh, don't forget, Australia is just as bad. <laughs> that is true. Okay, I'm just sending prayers to Harry and Meghan. This is ridiculous. I, I don't even bother reading those things. If the squad don't bring it until my timeline i won't even know today is march 14 2022 it is 3 33 p.m i already did my earlier morning recording i'm editing video for uh, march 12 or 13 or something like that and something tells me let me go check and see what's going on with my uh, video that came out this morning so i'm looking at this here because earlier today, this, my comment was not zero because I did respond to some comments and it cannot be zero. And then I could see here, my views went up, my impression, you know, slightly went up. My average uh, view duration went up and my estimate revenue still stuck around that 270 or 250, but right now it's 270.63. But what gets me a little bit concerned is the fact that my comment is zero, which I have commented on. So if I go here under comments, all right, so this is the video that went live today. All right, there it is, 43 comments. And it has 107 thumbs up and uh, 396 views. So there is something that is not going well with my channel, with my back end. So someone is messing up with the numbers. Okay, someone is messing up with the numbers. All right, there's the comments here it says 43 comments. This is the video, uh, season three, episode 69. They've done, or was it? They've done more than enough. Okay, that the one with the uh, thumbnails with uh, Well Central Kitchen chef Andre. All right, now when I go here, there it is. It, this is the one that came up. The comments show zero so i just saw that i wanted to document it i probably will put it on this morning video recording but uh, it crossed my mind i thought i added it that's all very concerning and disturbing let me see my analytics while i'm there all right everything it went up 270 in terms of the money wise but uh anyway that's it it just i just wanted to bring that as a documentation that's all all right prayer oops uh prayer let's say brighter for brighter future for
any side prayers no side prayers let's go straight to image let's do this one okay god says quote the reason some people have turned against you and walk away from you without reason has nothing to do with you it is because i have removed them from your life because they cannot go where i am taking you next wow wow because they cannot go where i am taking you next they will only hinder you and your next level because they have already served their purpose in your life let them go and keep moving greater is coming end quote says the lord as i'm reading this i'm thinking there's some squaddies who love their lost one as well um i don't want to go too deep in that but it just remind me of that wow okay so that's it let me leave it as that Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. And those who have donated, thank you. And uh, that's it.